Hey, I'm Mary DeMuth, and this is Pray Every Day, where I pray through the Bible verse by verse. It is such a privilege to be able to do this for you every day. And it's good for me, too. It's good for my soul, because to read the scripture out loud, it just ministers to me. And then to be able to have the opportunity to intercede for you is such a blessing and a privilege. So thank you for listening. Thank you for valuing your relationship with God. And thank you for um, valuing, valuing scripture. I so appreciate you. Today we are going to finish up John chapter 19 verses 38 through 42 and this is in the International Children's Bible ICB. This is what it says. Later a man named Joseph from Arimathea asked Pilate if he could take the body of Jesus. Joseph was a secret follower of Jesus because he was afraid of the Jews. Pilate gave his permission so Joseph came and took Jesus's body away. Nicodemus went with Joseph. Nicodemus was the man who earlier had come to Jesus at night. He brought about 75 pounds of spices. This was a mixture of myrrh and aloes. These two men took Jesus' body and wrapped it with the spices in pieces of linen cloth. This is how the Jews bury people. In the place where Jesus was killed, there was a garden. In the garden was a new tomb where no one had ever been buried. The men laid Jesus in that tomb because it was near, and the Jews were preparing to start their Sabbath day. Mind if I pray for you? Lord Jesus, um, I've prayed about this this month as well, but it's it bears repeating. Um, you created the world in a garden-like state. It was beautiful and pristine, and there was no sin, no death, no knowledge of good and evil. All was good and pristine and powerful in the, in the Garden of Eden. There was harmony among Adam and Eve and among the creatures of the field, and um, they had all sorts of plants and trees to eat from, and you said it was good, and all was amazing. And then the serpent of old deceived them, and they ate. And that's the moment that sin entered the world as well as death. So I find it fascinating, Lord, that um, Jesus, when you were contemplating what would happen to you, and you said, not my will, but yours be done, that was in a garden, the Garden of Gethsemane. And when you were being laid to rest, you were laid to rest in a garden, all of these symbolic of the place of death the um, ultimate betrayal of man toward you. And we see that um, there will be garden-like grounds in the new heavens and the new earth. But in this moment, you were laid into a garden tomb. And the, the symbolism and poeti- poeticism of that is beautiful to me. That you were there to redeem what was lost. You were there to bring us back to Eden. You were there to restore what had been stolen. You were in a garden because in a garden is when the sin entered this world. And we want to return in this new kingdom to bring heaven to earth. That's why we are to pray on earth as it is in heaven. Lord, we do want your will to be done on earth as it is in heaven. We do want to bring Eden with us wherever we go. We know this is not because of how awesome we are, but because of how awesome you are and what you've done. Um, Yes, and you uh, suffered, and you suffered and died. Your heartbeat stopped. um, You had no more oxygen, and your body decayed. And it was laid in that tomb, but it didn't stay there. And I'm thankful for that. Lord, I'm also um, reminded of the secretness of people who are following you. We have Nick, Nicodemus, who came to you at night afraid. And we've got this Joseph of Arimathea who is known as a secret follower of you because they were afraid of the Jewish leaders, which is ironic because Jesus came to save us all, particularly the nation of Israel. So it's interesting that the nation of Israel, its leaders were persecuting those who were actually following the one who would deliver them. So it's all irony as I think about it. But um, Lord, in light of that, I pray you would give us the gumption, the power, and the grit we need to follow you publicly and not to be ashamed of you, but to be transformed by you and to share others, um, share with others the great good news about what you've done on that cross. Thank you for redeeming the garden for us. We love you and and we praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. 
Thank you so much for listening to Pray Every Day. Again, so grateful for you. If you're listening from another place other than the United States, I would love to know where that's from. So email me at mary at marydemuth.com and let me know how you've come across the podcast. It just really helps me learn how this podcast is getting into the rest of the world. That's my prayer. I'm not really interested in this being like, um, you know, popular or, or whatever in that sense. I want to be popular in the sense it's having kingdom impact and it's reaching people everywhere. So uh, anyway, I'm going to rest in that and trust that God will do that. And I hope you have a great day.